Now, recently I've been having a little bit of a struggle because ever since I was 23, I've had Botox, but living a more plastic free and toxic free life these days, I've just had a big resistance to getting it done. I've booked in so many times and cancelled because I just don't, it's just not sitting right with me at the moment. So that's not to say I'll never get Botox again, you never say never, um, but I do want to try all the natural elements as often and as, as much as I can. So beautiful M Maidman introduced me to Dr. Abby Acupuncture. She is a phenomenal person. She's a human being that is just full of knowledge. So we are going to try some acupuncture, some cosmetic acupuncture, which I didn't even know existed in this world. Abby Acupuncture, cosmetic, cosmetic acupuncture for your face. So a natural way to get rid of those wrinkles. Watch your space coming up now. to do in this room is let it go leave it to me and just breathe okay if there's something I think you need to be doing I will tell you but in the interim fuck it just just <laughs> let me do it yeah think you can do that for me I can and then you can just be an observer of the process rather than the train driver. As much as we're in this room and we pretend it's about you, it's actually about me. So just let me do me. <laughs> yeah? Just let me be in charge. Well, you have looked after your skin, so it does quite a lot to play with. So, since going to Dr. Abby, I have noticed a massive difference, especially in here. Like, my wrinkles are so much better. I used to have a huge, huge, huge when I frowned. Heaps of wrinkles here, and it's definitely much, much better. Around here I still have um, wrinkles, but it's it's not as full on as it was before, as well as up here, but it's not as full on. So it's, um, it's toned down a lot. Before I'd look in the mirror and all I would see is wrinkles, whereas now I look in the mirror and I see my eyes. I'm not really worried about the wrinkles as much as I have been in my entire life. Like I've been getting Botox since 23, so at 36, that's 13 years. So Dr. Abby's job isn't necessarily to get rid of the wrinkles, it's almost to not give a fuck about the wrinkles and none of us are perfect, we all grow older and the wrinkles on our face, like I feel like we're in this day and age where everyone's become so plastic and everyone wants to be perfect and they think that they need to change their appearance to be perfect. We don't need to change our appearance to be perfect, we just need a lot of self love so we accept ourselves the way that we are. And I think that's more important than anything. The thing that's making me really upset at the moment is just young girls, the amount of plastic surgery that they're getting at, at 15 and 16. It's, it's really hard as a mum especially to deal with. I had a girlfriend the other day and this is the most beautiful girl you've ever seen. She's so gorgeous, she's so perfect and she said to me, I want to get my lips done. And I said, why? You're so perfect the way you are, why do you want to get your lips done? And she said, oh, everyone else is doing it. Everyone else isn't doing it. I'm not doing it. I've had Botox for 13 years. That was about the extent of any work that I've had done. And I'm here to teach you self-love. We're not perfect. None of us are perfect. But we need to accept ourselves as we are. 
So today is my very last session with Dr. Abby. This is session number six and what a journey it's been. Who would have thought that six weeks ago I would be in the position that I am today? Working with Dr. Abby, it's not about your wrinkles. That is just another benefit. It's about just giving you some inner peace inside, loving who we are, respecting who we are, and making sure that we are the person that, that on the inside, just as much on the outside, who we're meant to be. I've had an incredible journey with Dr. Abby, an absolutely incredible journey. So not only have we worked on my wrinkles, I think you can agree that they're nowhere near as full on as they used to be. You know, after getting Botox, the first thing I would ever do is look at my face and look at my wrinkles. Now, I just look at my face and I look at me. So there's so many cosmetic procedures out there that are happening at such young ages, like 16 and 17 these days and people think that it's the norm. I don't want it to be the norm. I don't want people to change their appearance. I think it's more about loving the inside rather than the outside, it's just loving who we are. And I think that if we loved each other more, loved ourselves more, we'd feel less, less of a need to do the outside. So session number six with Dr. Abby coming up, this is my last session with her and it's just been an incredible journey. She has taught me how to calm down. I'm such a stress head. Everything I stress about, which is why I always had so many wrinkles, is because I'm a big warrior. And if there's anything that Dr. Abby has taught me over the last six weeks, it's not to worry. It's to just chill the fuck out. Honestly, we can't, we can't, we all can't save the world. So let's just live our life and be who we are. So, Dr. Abby, it's been an incredible journey. I'm so proud and honoured that you gave me this opportunity. And I want to just thank you. Um, I always thought that cosmetic acupuncture was about wrinkles, but it's not. It's about loving who we are. And I think out of anything, we just need to love ourselves more. And that's the biggest life lesson that you've ever taught me. Thank you for taking me on this journey and I absolutely adore you and I can highly recommend you to anyone. I just wanted to give you a quick update on my cosmetic acupuncture journey. So six sessions with Dr. Abby has been a phenomenal journey. So there's some other things that she recommended during our sessions that I do. One of them is a guava shower. Now you might have heard of a jade roller, but apparently this way is the bomb diggity. So what it essentially does is actually irons out all the wrinkles on your face. The power this little guy has is phenomenal. Yep. So. Yep, when you get older, you get all this stuff down there. Incredible. And you can actually see it making a difference before your eyes. Now, Dr. Abby has some workshops in her office, um, the Gong Center. So have a look at her website and have a look at the workshops because this guy has so much power. Every little part on our face is a pressure point to another part of our body. So the power that this has, like this is for immunity back here, the power that this little guy has is phenomenal. Chinese medicine is next level. So it's just basically healing our body with herbs and acupuncture and even this little guy for wrinkles. Another thing that Dr. Abby recommended is bone broth. Now at this stage of my life, I'm a pescatarian, so I really struggled with bone broth. However, there are so many health benefits to bone broth. Um, for hormone health and gut health especially and I can tell you it's made a huge difference especially to my hormone health absolutely incredible so another thing Dr. Abby recommended especially for me I have a lot of digestive issues and I'm all about Ayurveda Ayurveda and Chinese medicine are very very similar and this is one of the reasons why so Ayurveda also recommends um, with Chinese medicine to eat 
like really warming foods for your body really really warming food so that means no raw food and since I've been having warming food since dr. Abby recommended it my digestion has been so much better it's not just actually the heat of cooking the food it's also the spices like using cardamom or ginger or um, cinnamon or um, you know any of the Ayurvedic or Chinese herbs that are in there just have a look at some books have a look at some cookbooks and just yeah eating some really cooked foods really warming cooked foods for my body has made a huge difference the other thing that dr abby recommended is a um in chinese medicine they're all about keeping warm which is completely different to wim hof sorry about that wim hof i'm all about chinese medicine i love to be kept warm so just keeping your feet warm especially when i get too stressy dr abby recommended especially before bed an hour before bed is putting my feet in hot water which is essentially straight away like drops down these um, my stress levels incredible such a small simple thing to do which can be done at home massive difference if I'm feeling stressy throughout the day I'll just get a big bowl of hot water and put my feet in that too so do I still have wrinkles yes I still do have wrinkles absolutely but dr. Abby is really honest with the fact that she can't get rid of the wrinkles completely she can sl she can slow them down and she can lower them so they're not so in your face um, but her job is not to get get rid of them completely what her job is is to create space in our mind so we can stop stressing about so much and think about positive things in our body what happens is when we stress we think too much we get wrinkles and then we're not happy within ourselves so if we actually just pull that process back a little bit and we work on our we work on our inner health and um, loving ourselves then we'll be happier within ourselves so the process with acu uh, cosmetic acupuncture has been incredible absolutely incredible so one thing I would love you to do moving forward is something really really simple whenever someone gives you a compliment say someone says hey I love your dress straight away as women we tend to go oh I got it ages ago you know oh, I bought it 10 years ago it's so old why can't we just say thank you next time someone says hey I love your dress just say thanks so much or hey you look really beautiful today thanks thank you I want to teach everyone self-love what's really disturbing me at the moment is the amount of cosmetic procedures I'm seeing on young girls I'm all about doing things that make you happy Getting Botox has always made me happy. So if that makes you happy, then do that. But what's really disturbing me at the moment is the is young girls. I heard of a girl just recently who was in high school. Now this beautiful girl had a boob job, a bum job, a nose job, and also Botox. Like she's in high school. I just want to teach all the girls out there and just come and give them a big hug and say you are so perfect the way you are please don't change your appearance I get getting Botox when you're my age when you're older um, you know even facetune and things on on Instagram like it's not real that's not how people look they're changing their appearance there is no need for people to completely change their appearance. People are looking up to the Kardashian crew and going, ooh, I've got to have a big bum and I've got to have a perfect face to be beautiful and to be happy and to be accepted. I'm here to tell you that no, you don't. I want to teach you self-love. And so if you're struggling, please come to me. I want to really mentor you and help you during this process. Just be happier within yourselves. Do I recommend Dr. Abby? Yes, absolutely I do. I think she's phenomenal and all these little life lessons she's taught me all through cosmetic acupuncture. My six sessions with her were absolutely incredible. I highly recommend Chinese medicine, cosmetic acupuncture and Dr. Abby. All three are incredible. Thank you Dr. Abby for taking me on this session with you. I loved our sessions together and you will forever be one of my good friends. And to everybody else, thank you so much for watching and supporting. And if there's anyone you want us to interview for Happy Souls, please let us know. Just subscribe so we can bring you more and more and more. Thank you everybody. Love, light and gratitude.